I'm going to talk about my Sergio Martino collection. He's one of my all-time favorite Italian directors. Um, to be honest, he's rather underrated, but um, he's directed some great films and some really bad ones, too, like most of them. But the first film I have of Sergio Martino is Arizona Cult Hired Gun, uh, an official sequel to Arizona Cult. It's a pretty average spaghetti western. Um, it's his very first film he ever made. Um, Anthony Steffen plays the role a lot different than the character in the first film, but you know what? For a debut, it's pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed it enough. And then comes the genre. Sergio Martino was a real master in the giallo. I mean, his giallos, in my opinion, rank up there with Mario Bava's and Dario Gento's and Lucio Pucci's. His giallos are magnificent. And the first one I have is the out-of-print uh, Shriek Show edition of All the Colors of the Dark. Really psychedelic, stylistic, wonderful giallo. If you can hunt it down, I highly recommend that one. Then I have Blade of the Ripper. Oh, you know, and this is the re-release by Maya Communication. Um, uh, originally released in a better edition by No Shame as a strange uh, vice of Mrs. Worth. But, um... Uh, I I decided to pick this up for 15 bucks as opposed to 40 for the out of print no shame edition. I don't like the title or, or the cover as well. Kind of makes it look like a slasher as opposed to a Jello. But um, wonderful Jello, one of my favorites. Really love this one. Um, really highly recommend that. Um, George Hilton again re, uh, returning. Uh, he worked with in a lot of Jellos um, from Sergio Martino. And I have No Shames Out, a print edition of The Case of the Scorpion's Tail. Again, George Hilton again. Wonderful Jallo. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Great style. Can't recommend this one more either. As you can tell, he's a master of the Jallos. Then I have a Jallo of his, uh, a little more extreme one called Torso. More bloody, more exploitative, and just a wonderful Jallo. Uh, one of the best the genre has to offer. I really highly recommend this one, too. Then I have a Euro crime film of his, uh, Gambling City. He did direct an excellent Euro crime film ca called The Violent Professionals. Sadly, I don't own it on DVD. I missed my chance to get the, the out-of-print Wild East edition. This is a little different for the genre, as it's a little more character-driven, and it's more drama and a fantastic film. I was really surprised how much I enjoyed this. Um... Really excellent Sergio Martino film. Then I have another spaghetti western, Menage, a.k.a. A Man Called Blade. Merzio Merli, best known for his zero crime films. Really highly enjoyed the spaghetti western, made at the end of the genre. 1977 it came out. The genre was basically dead, and this was one of the last ones ever made. Re really so realistic, a lot like Kioma that way. Really highly enjoyed it. After this film... Uh, Sergio Martino's films became more silly. Still entertaining, uh, but like he he commented that his films at this time were more like uh, soda pop, you know, uh, refreshing, uh, you know, tastes good, but you know, kind of quickly forgotten. And that's a good description of him. Um, right here, I got 1978's uh, release of Mountain of the Cannibal God and a double feature with Cannibal Man. Mountain of the Cannibal God, it's, uh, Italy was going through the cannibal film craze at this time. This is not a bad one. L one of the less extremes of the genre. More, you know, kind of an adventure film along with it. Uh, I actually enjoy this one. This is the full and cut version that uh, Anchor Bay released. And then he has another jungle-based horror film. Uh, Island of the Fishmen, Italy's uh, ripoff of the Island of Dr. Moreau, Barbara Bach. Um, uh, you know, it's silly. Uh, the special effects aren't that great, but you know what? I still enjoy it. It's a, it's an entertaining, trashy Italian film. I, I, I even like Italian trash, even even to the Italian great films. So, um, and he quickly followed Island of the Fishmen up. I have the out of print, no shame release of. The Big Alligator River it was re-released by my, my communication recently as uh, just the title Alligator. Uh, Barbara Bach again. Um, awful, awful, awful special effects. Very trashy Italian film, but you know, I still enjoyed it for what it is. And then the last film I have of his is 2019, After the Fall of New York. Um, 
Oh my god, this is so bad, it's great. It's an Italian ripoff of Escape from New York and a little bit of the Road Warrior and oh it's so so entertaining. Sergio Martino directed it under an American pseudonym Anthony Dawson, so excuse me. Oh I uh, I can't remember, it's not Anthony Dawson, that's it. But I can't remember, but he, he directs it under a pseudonym, but highly entertaining. Um Italian trash there. And there's one of my favorite collections of one of my favorite Italian directors. I don't have all of his movies that have been released on DVD. I still need to get The Scorpion with Two Tails, but I've heard that one is pretty bad. and That's a pretty pricey DVD. And I really, really want to uh, get a film of his called Hands of Steel. Uh, you know, a later 80s Italian trashy film ripoff of Terminator. Uh, I'm hoping that comes to DVD soon, but... Alright, that's my collection for now.